the eyebrow flash is an interesting one. It's primate behavior like teeth bearing. Monkeys and chimps do it as well. So there's two monkeys together and there's a, a lion approaching and one goes up this tree, one goes up the other tree. And now the guy went up that tree, wants to make sure his mate knows that's the tree he went up. So they look at each other and they do this. So it's an eye widening signal, which communicates, I see you and I recognize that you're over there. Now, chances are you might do this when you meet people in any case. I know I do because I've got the lines to prove it and I've seen myself on video doing it, but most people are not sure whether they do this or not. But if you don't do it, practice. When you meet people, just go, hello. Split second. So I, think I'm do, I think I'm doing it now just to mimic Wait, you, actually. You are. If you, if, you re, if you do a replay, you'll see this. Oh, hi, I'm Alan. Hi. 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 Now, I'm over <laughs> a bit here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Two signals that affect the limbic brain in the first four minutes where the person's ancient brain says, well, this person is non-threatening because they're showing their teeth. Secondly, they recognise and acknowledge that I'm actually here. So they feel significant. And the third thing you do when you're talking is this thing here, nodding your head as you talk. And you're doing it too. I've been watching you do it. Not more than three times though. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Now, the reason that's important, in Western and European cultures, and not in Asian cultures, there's a, there's a cultural difference here, that a group of three communicates, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. More than three means shut up. <laughs> I'll give you an example, Sam. So, so 